Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 606. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Hey yo. And Tony Korkanakis. <clears throat> Fucking deep, man. <laughs> uh, welcome guys, welcome listeners and viewers to um I don't know what we got in this episode. Like it's gonna be a comic book episode. Um I, I don't even know because Mike, we throw it out usually with DC, right? Is that Mike's rule? But we got we got we got some DC news to talk about. No, we so. got some some confirmed things, which is although I think it's I not confirmed. Sources. It's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. It's not confirmed. What's not confirmed? Well, we'll talk about it because Variety came out with something else that says oh. confirmed about something. Okay. All right. Well, if we're talking about um, the same thing, teaser guys, teaser. Teaser. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, so first things first. Then let's do the weekend box office. Uh, which was what was it last week? Oh yeah, DC's DC League of Super Pets. Good. Uh, week thirty. Uh, let's see. That did twenty three million. Number one, uh, beating out Nope at eighteen million, eighteen point five million. Um, so I haven't seen this movie yet, but I'm going. I think we're going Friday because it's going to rain on Friday if I if I have this information. If, if the weathermen this, are correct. This was the first week for that, or you said third? Or... No, this is the opening week for opening uh, week. League of Super Pets. Uh, League of Super Pets. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's not great. Um, it's not great, <laughs> no, but it's not it's terrible. Not. Yeah, I mean, it's actually within line. It's in the line of their projections. So, not terrible. It's where they kind of, I guess, they put it. Thor, thirteen point one, still doing okay. Actually, uh, high, uh, highest grossing Thor film now. I think it made it, or it's going to be. Yeah, uh, it's on. It's on track, which is not getting the. Like I said, it's not getting the best of reviews from audiences um you know for i could see obvious reasons um but it's gonna bring in the hall so you just, you'll get more uh i don't um, think it'll hit ragnarok but you have to take out china and russian numbers because yeah. of global that's what it is it, it'll, it'll hit now. it'll be on the it'll be above that without china and uh, russian right. numbers like you said yeah um minions and top gun were your top five top but that's this week Oof. yeah i um I think the rest of the summer is pretty empty, right? I, yeah, I, I mean, else I, else out there, but not really much. I, I mean, I don't even think there's anything worthy of mm. possibly seeing. Like, I, I it's, again, it's this goes back to like, like one movie in like August. August but, yeah, but, yeah it's, it goes back to like why get? I mean, you have the movie pass, right, uh, Tony? Do you? Did you? No, know? I don't know, dude. I mean, I was no, saying, a long time ago, <laughs> pre-pandemic. Yeah, sure. But why? Why do that now? Like, I don't understand what. Like, they're still selling it. I'm like, understand that. Like, you want to move that for your subscription thing, but I can't imagine many people signing up for it. So just with, just with COVID going on, yeah. uh, still, yeah. and then ran, and then the box office not, you know, having the strongest of things. I will say that this week I do want to um, watch um, Prey is on Hulu this week. The new Predator movie. Um, that looks good. Like, I'm kind of excited. New to watch Predator that movie. movie. Yeah, and it looks yeah. good. It looks it really looks good. Interesting. I don't know. It's hard to. I think it looks really good. I'll let you it did reminds place me back in like before technology. So yeah. it's like right. ears and, and bow and arrows. I'll, and I'll, like, let, uh, I'll let you guys watch know. it. I was the guinea pig for that last shitty alien movie that I told you was bad. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll, I'll be watching this on uh, this weekend. Um, I, don't have I didn't get. To worry about that. Yeah, I didn't get to watch too it's much. I didn't get to watch it too much. I was traveling this week, and we didn't go to the movies. Um, I'm what? Think we watched. Weren't you supposed you to see Top Gun? Gun? You talked about this for a whole fucking month, this. dude. <laughs> they didn't go, and I was like, "Well, I waited this entire time to not see this movie, and then we didn't go." So yeah, that's how it worked. Um, that being said, uh, I did watch Team America. That's about it. So Fuck yeah. oh, um, yeah. I mean, I. I I didn't finish it yet. I can't talk about it. Never mind. Next week I'll talk about the Netflix The Gray Man. I'm not done with it yet. So, didn't finish it today like I wanted to because I ended up spackling my ceiling of my kitchen. So it's a long story with that. But uh, that's what's doing. That's what's happening. Housework. Um, so that's really it for me in terms of what I've been watching, except for like what we do in the shadows, which is a great show. Season four, so funny. Holy cow! I can't. I guys, seriously, somebody else. Who else watches? Anybody else watch this? Oh, Nobody else. A long time. One of four of us maybe. watched this amazing comedy. It is so good. Um, you guys, got you have to watch this. It's so good. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm trying to think. Of, I know I have one more thing I watched. I just don't know what that – I'm drawing a blank. So, uh, Corey, what have you been watching? 
Well, I checked out the Resident Evil show. Ooh, that's what I said. That's it. Yes. The first episode. Yep. And yep. Me, me as well. And I was like, yeah, it got a lot of like people were talking about. It. I was like, you know, yeah, not in a good way. Different. Not in a good way. No, it, it got some good. It got, it got some decent hype. I saw on Twitter. Yeah, it got like some it. good reviews. So that's, yeah. I was like, okay, let's see what the fuss is about. And I don't know what the fuss is about still because I don't. I, yeah. It didn't capture me. I was not interested in going further. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, I'm in the same boat as you. I watched that first episode and I'm like, I'm good with it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was fine. Whatever. Um, I did watch Black Panther because we talked about it last week. I was like, I got to go back and watch nice. Black Panther. And, yeah. yeah. So it still holds up really well, actually. And it just like, oh, sucks because like he's just like the launching for this, like the platform for this character is just like that's his launching point. And of course, we did see him before, but this this movie just really propelled him. Huh? Was that five years ago now? Five years. That, it was yeah. Five years since it was announced. I mean, it came uh, out. Um, four? Four years? Four years-ish, yeah. That's so crazy to think about, dude. Yeah. Fucking four years old. And then we oh, saw shit. him in a couple other things here and there, but, like, we really wanted to see his stories and his, um, you know, yep. his movies. But, but, yeah, we'll see how this new... And, oh, there was some other news about, like, the Atlanteans not being Atlanteans and Wakanda Forever. They're uh, uh, based off of, like, a mayan aztec um, oh yeah i did see that actually yeah i did read that actually something like that mm-hmm. yeah so. um know. other than that not anything else really that exciting yeah. all right uh tony uh so my brother somehow uh started watching the boys and nice. uh i mean I, I wasn't going to watch i mean it's weird because he's not really into superhero stuff at all but one of his friends convinced him to like watch it because it's you know atypical superhero stuff which it is yeah. but i thought it was weird he's like yeah i've been watching the boys and he was like towards the end of season two so i was like oh we we're hanging out i was like uh if you want we can I, i'll finish season two with you again because i've seen it but then we can hop into season three then and stuff like that because originally i wasn't planning on doing it but um yeah, yeah. season three is getting memeified all over social media <laughs> reddit twitter and all that stuff so i was like okay you know what I'll dip back in. You know, I'll, I'll dip back in. There's there's nothing else to watch right now and stuff like that. And I gotta say, uh, season three is actually pretty good. Um, not perfect, but uh, overall, um, it is still really funny. The writing in this is just... <laughs> the stuff they come up with in the writer's room, like, I would just love to, like, hear what they have to say and, like, the, the things that they pitch. Like, yeah, uh, this season, you know, Homelander is gonna be, uh, you know mirror like trump basically and stuff like that where he just like doesn't give a fuck and he's like you know i could kill somebody on fifth street and nobody would bat an eye or something like that and homer oh, yeah. Yeah. essentially just has that attitude this season it's like whoa at least he held back a bit before you know in terms no of no it's you can see that switch change this season i'm yeah. just like oh it's, this is where they're going with this guy okay yeah so uh, uh yeah yeah so i got two seasons or two episodes left of the season but uh really got a reiterate and I, I know we've talked about this before but um Anthony Starr, I believe is his name, who is Homelander, just nails it. Like, he oh, yeah. fucking, he carries this show on his back. I mean, not not to take anything away from any of the other actors, because there, there's a lot of pedigree actors in this uh, sure. show, but, like, he, is, he just nails that role. And we talked about, for how many years now, like, a great villain helps elevate a great story and stuff like that. And Homelander, I, I think, is really uh, a great villain. I mean, out of everything, you know, DC, Marvel, um cartoons you know anime anything he's just, he's just a great villain uh and a character that whenever he's on screen he just has this presence where you're like oh shit what's gonna happen you know because it's like is somebody gonna die is he just gonna like splatter somebody or laser somebody like don't even know um and especially when certain characters just talk back to him or like flat out just you know insult him to his face it's like oh how's this gonna end stuff like that so uh yeah really good season uh much better than season two uh, but two episodes left. We'll see how it goes. Some really fucking gross shit though. Too. I just like I I couldn't get past it, but I'm like I've got the urge to get back into it because I heard like there's still so much more I want to yeah, I want to see from Home- Homelander. Yeah, you can see all the memes with the finale. Um, yeah. And stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, the octopus man. The octopus. I don't know what it was about that scene. I'm like. I, I just well, I'm out. It's funny because there's two octopus scenes, so I'm not oh, sure I know. which one you're talking. I know the about. second. No, the <laughs> first one. The yeah, the first, first one, one was yes. like. <laughs> I just couldn't take that one for some reason. And I watched so many deaths. I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. But exactly. uh, yeah, I just couldn't take that. And um, yeah. yeah, but then I know the second one, I've seen that too. So I was like, oh, okay. 
So yeah, it is good. I would recommend it um, at some point. Mm. You know, something like that. So. Yeah. All right, uh, Mike. Nothing much. Just uh, some baseball and the yeah. captain. I've watched a few of those episodes too. Yeah. It's the the Derek Jeter documentary. Um, it's know the last dance, ESPN, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's know the last yeah. dance, but it's okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, um... obviously. I was interested back then. Derek Jeter's probably my favorite baseball player. So yeah. Yeah. it was worth watching for a little bit, but uh, nothing else, really. Okay. All right, let's move into some news. We've got, like I said, a lot of comic book stuff happening. Let's kick it off with some sad news first. I like to just get this, you know, well, this there's sadder news with comic book stuff, but let's go with sad news that uh, Nichelle Nichols, uh, the um, actress who played y- uh, Uhura, Uhura uh, from Star Trek, uh, passed away at 89. Um, I Star Trek on the original series, obviously. She's been, you know, very prominent out there and uh, obviously very ac- iconic <clears throat> role for um, a black woman to be on on TV back then. And it was awesome for, you know, pioneering essentially, which she did a great job and um, loved her character, actually. It was a great character in the Star Trek, the movies and stuff. Thought it was nice. Um, is you know, you know so i just it's a sad sad day for the trekkies but um and i just saw i just watched her on it was an older episode she was on uh comic book men which is a Mm -hmm. you know i I do like that show it's actually hasn't been on for a couple years now but i did watch it and i was like uh, she was on the episode just like two days ago or three days ago before and i was like wow this is it's kind of weird to see though she passed away um but uh yeah so unfortunately some sad news um yeah, let's. Yeah, she was a uh, remarkable woman. I, I think um, her role actually inspired one of the first uh, black female astronauts to, probably the first actually, uh, to go into space, something like that. So she, um, yeah, I mean, she was telling the story actually on Comic Book Men, uh, where she was, um, going to quit. She was not going to yeah, play the role. Yeah, who who convinced her again? It was uh, Martin Luther King. Yeah, Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, King yeah. Jr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he convinced her to keep the role. He's like, you, "What are you doing? This is the greatest thing. You know, you have to keep this role. I'm sorry, you're. It's, it's a bigger purpose. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, and so, but you know, she said she was really glad she ended up staying there, and and uh, and she really enjoyed her time doing the show. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. I will piggyback just a little bit, sort of outside of our range, but uh, Bill Russell also died this week. Uh, similar age, and also sort of a similar, you know, activist background as well. Bill Russell, yeah. uh, probably um, known as the greatest winner in NBA history. He was 88, uh, but after his, uh, you know, playing career, he, you know, he was outspoken about even in the NBA in the 60s, it was rough for, for, you know, a famous black man you know, traveling to different cities and stuff. So he became, he's been, you know, a lot of things to a lot of people for a long time. And he also died this week at 88. So mm. let's give him yeah. props to him as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go into, let's see. I don't care about this Tomb Raider reboot. There's a Tomb Raider reboot in work. Do we, you know, in the works, whatever. Uh, I got, honestly forgot yeah. the, the last reboot even. There was like a rights thing and, uh, MGM lost it, so yeah, I'm not waited. surprised. The series is couldn't come up with anything in time. No, and they had that actress attached though. I didn't even know she was still attached, Alicia Vikander. So, yeah. Um, but whatever. I didn't think that movie was bad, Corey. If it wasn't called Tomb Raider, yeah, it was, just, you know, <laughs> it was fine. Like, it was a good movie. I mean, I could see that being yeah, like a Netflix kind of gray man style thing, just like show up yeah. on Netflix and just be like, oh, okay, cool little action thing. Yeah, that could have been it. All right, uh, let's move into, I guess, sad news for Peacock. No new paid subscribers over the last quarter. No new paid subscribers over the last quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. That's, this is like, I had to read. I just, you know, what's funny is, like, like, I, I free You need content, to give right? some sort of yes, incentive. Yes, content. <laughs> they, I, you know, what's funny is, like, they have WWE, which was in such a bad place these last few months with Vince McMahon, which I don't think we talked about on the podcast, but you know, it's everywhere with all of his allegations and he had, you know, uh, stepping down and, you know, he, it's, it's, it was terrible. Like I stopped, I per like, I would not watch any WWE stuff whatsoever. I had no interest in it. I even like some of my friends. Hold on, hold on a second though. Are you honestly surprised by those allegations? No, no, I'm not, but I'm like, it's there. Like, like yeah, you, but... you, you you sort of assume someone like Vince McMahon is given hush money for affairs. I, like I know, 
I well, I mean, hold so, on, hold on. Affairs are one thing. I mean, any rich dude, I just assume, is a fucking cheating asshole because you don't, you don't make that fucking much money to fuck one bitch. Sorry. Um, just, I, especially if you're somebody that's Vince McMahon, you you just don't. But the stuff that came out was even worse than like yeah. what what a yeah. normal person would imagine. It's like, oh, okay, like yeah. you know, so. So I just um I mean, people of yeah, power are abusing their power. It's just like a cyclical so, thing. It just keeps happening over and over again. Because like the value for Pe- Peacock, I mean, what WWE? <laughs> what that's what I'm saying. It used WWE used to be um nine ten dollars a month, and then they signed with Peacock, where it was all you had to do was pay five bucks a month to watch their their pay per views, which you know that's that's pretty good value if you're a wrestling fan. Um, and then. This I st- I would just I canceled my subscription. I can tell you that uh, I actually just resubscribed because we were we've been home and you know for we've been home a couple of times stuck at home with people being sick in the house, um, different things not not just COVID, uh, but my nine year old wanted to watch the bad guys which Pe- Peacock got as an exclusive and I was like okay for five bucks that's you know totally cool I can watch that I can watch the Office for a month you know what I mean like the super fan episodes but. Overall, there's no value for just five dollars a month. There's no value there. Like I'm canceling it at the end. Of the, I already canceled it. It's done at the end of this month. That, that's it. Um, there's just no retention well, we got value. You for a, a month there, so they can what add that do? to I their mean, subscribers there's, there's, list. There's no retention value. That's the problem. That's why you don't get any new subscribers. Yeah. Um, and, and this so is, is this going to cause? Yeah, I'm saying. Go ahead, Tony. No, I was going to say this is yeah, bad. Like this is bad for people. And I know we just talked about Netflix that's, losing one million instead of the, the projected two million. But as I said before, Netflix is in their uh, transition phase to become profitable, not to expand, uh, because there's a certain point where you're just getting diminishing returns on a lower price point. Uh, you're not going to retain that many, uh, attract new subscribers and retain that many subscribers uh, without putting out significant new content. But Peacock needs to expand. They need to grow, you know, uh, especially if you yeah. look at <clears throat> uh, other competitors like Disney Plus and HBO Max that were even able to be Paramount's successful doing better even paramount Peacock. even paramount is doing better uh which is fucking really sad to say so uh peacock um unfortunately uh i i don't see coming around at all yeah, i mean like i can't even think of a peacock exclusive thing that like I mean, at least i know paramount's got halo like they did an original <laughs> halo series yeah but like what does peacock have other than wwe like you said Jim? i don't know there's, I could see them having to merge. There's, I mean, obviously Paramount. I, you know, there's a few I mean, of these getting like subscriptions these old, that have to merge. Yeah, you know, I know, like they're taking back, um, or not taking back, but they got the Office or whatever. It's like their old stuff. Like that's it's, it. It's, that's all they have. I mean, they have the, the Office and they're, and they're doing the Super Fan episodes, and they really need to promote that more. They're not even promoting it. Like Tony, did you know that they have the Super Fan episodes on Peacock? You know, what, you know what those are? Nope. Exactly. That's the problem, Tony. I would account you as a super fan of The Office. Like, if I can tell you right now, you can watch more length episodes, like, more content. All the stuff they deleted, they didn't have time to put in the episodes, mm-hmm. are in these episodes. Okay. How, intri- how yeah, interesting I'd is that? Yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah, I'd watch that. You don't know anything about it. Like, nope. come on, Peacock. Well, that's ridiculous. NBC, that's ridiculous. Advertising costs money, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you get subscribers. I, I, dude, I agree. I agree. I agree. But, uh, you know, this is one of the things we're talking about. Everybody wants their own pie instead of having a piece of it. And unfortunately, yeah. not all the pies are going to get sold. So, uh, Peacock, no. one of them. Definitely one of them. Yeah, I do not expect to see it around uh, in the next two, yeah. three years without I some, like, with out of left field, elevation. out of left field super hit that is just a cultural f- phenomenon or something. It's yeah, got to be like... a game or something. Yeah, exactly. I think, it's, I think they're going to have to either pay up, like you said, for something... Or they'll just merge with they're, they're, somebody who's going to pick them up. Their biggest desperation thing, I think, would be like an office, either quasi sequel with like a couple of the characters from season or from the original series, or just a reboot. Like that would be their you know, last ditch effort. You know what's crazy is, I, and I don't know how this would work with licensing, but I could totally see Apple picking this software, this this content up, like adding it to Apple Apple Plus. I this see. this fit like because like I said it's like older stuff that's really good stuff. But like, not. But it's a great addition piece. It's not a solo piece. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so yeah, interesting. But we'll see what goes on. Yep. All right, moving on. Uh, let's see. Leave that for the end because that's fun. Let's go to the DC. No, let's go to Marvel. Um, Fantastic Four. We know is coming out finally. Uh, Kevin Feige confirmed that it will not be an origin story. This is interesting because I disagree with this I've choice. Heard, I've heard. 
this song and dance before with Amazing Spider-Man. And we're going to focus on something different, but no, we'll see. I don't know. You get, you kind of, you kind of need to explain who the, these characters are a little the, bit. That's the problem. Like there's, I mean, who can you, like there's heroes that you can go uh, up and say, okay, we don't need the origin story, but like, there's not a lot of knowledge about the Fantastic there Four. There are three Fantastic Four movies. Yeah. That you no, doesn't, mean that be, doesn't mean they were watched, Corey. That's the problem. I, I think they'll cover it in some capacity. Like I agree, it's it's not like it's not like Spider Man or Superman or Batman where it's like almost everybody you know that knows anything about comics knows their origin and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure Fantastic Four is not a hard sell at all, uh, especially in 2023 well, or 24. Yeah, and they could it's coming do out. like a whole thing where they just brush on it during the credits. or yeah. something. right. That's, that's exactly true. what I'm talking about. Like like you could have like a montage intro where it's like you know somebody like watching a reel of like their clips because you know fantastic four is supposed to be in the public eye more so than the other superhero teams and stuff like that so i could see you know just an intro montage of them being you know public superheroes and stuff like that um and that's that's the origin it's like hey like here's you know a family you know that went to space got hit by some radiation beams and now they have superpowers and it's like there you go there you go that that's all you need and it's most likely that presidency is not going to be yeah i don't think so like I like him, no. but, but I just I, I was happy with the fan casting for. Mm-hmm. Oh sure, uh, and I think um, getting I, I I'm ready. To, I want to see somebody. I don't know. I, I do want to see somebody else in that role. I don't know if he did as great of a job in that role as I expected. Actually, I I, I mean, I jobbed in that role. What are you talking about? Sure, there was, there was yeah, nothing for I, him to do. Yeah. That's true. So, um, we'll see. All right, uh, I left. I put this in here because it's just nostalgia for the podcast. Um, the Flash season nine is going to end its series. This is dude, a, I can't believe uh, it's season nine. That's I know. insane um, to me. This is a mutual like the, the showrunner is excited because they have an ending figured out. They want to do it, and but I think the significance of this is, is this is it for the Arrowverse pretty much. This is it. The mm-hmm. Arrowverse is, and I just like for the Legends podcast done? nostalgia. I, I think so. I, I don't know anything. No, I, I don't. I think Legends is still going technically, but whatever. Uh, I thought Legends but was like, done. No, I think Legends is over with. No, I, my brother I, I is actively it's... watching it. Yeah, my brother is like actively so watching the show. Yeah, what's it called? Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. It's on seven seasons. Yeah. Hmm. That's, I, I guess mean, that is. I can't believe that show is more surprising. Like, than... I think that's more surprising than nine seasons of The Flash, yeah. right? Well, they just refresh all the time. Like, none, I don't think there's any original oh, it, characters. Legends of Tomorrow is in its final anymore. season right now. So, yeah. Oh, so there you go. So that is it. That is going to be the okay. end of the Arrowverse. Oh, um, it, it ended in March. Yeah. Oh, this oh, year. Okay. So there you go. That's it. This was it. Okay. So, so I, I just put it on here. Batgirl. Because if there's a Batwoman or whatever, that's not coming back. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't uh, know. Um, yeah, again. But yeah. But, I mean, the ending with Flash there's still is some, better than... There's, like, there's still Stargirl, like which I guess there's still Stargirl out there. But this is it. I mean, like, for our podcast, we talked so... Remember the, the conversations we would have uh, there about stuff Arrow? Going on. Yeah. 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 It was so in, so entertaining. Batman. I mean, that's what it was. Without yeah. Batman. It was so entertaining, this show. And even The Flash was great. Uh, the problem with The Flash is they used their best villain in season one. Um, like... Not for my opinion, in my opinion. Flash was uh, I thought that guy was for, fantastic. Flash was really good for one season. It was all right for season two, and then I think season three was when I'm like, I'm done with this. Well, it went down mm-hmm. once, you know, Thrawn right. was kind of unveiled, yeah. and, you know, like you said. Well, well I mean, it was, it was, like, yeah. not even that. It was just, like, the formulaic thing. Like, could you even have one episode where somebody didn't say, run, Barry, run? Like, it, it just <laughs> kind of became, a like, a joke of its own, and, like, the CGI was so bad. I remember when... Uh, when, was it Gorilla Grodd was on it? Like, it just looks oh, yeah. so fucking bad. Yeah. And I was like, guys, I know you have, like, a budget, but, like, holy shit, you know? Uh, my, yeah. favorite, uh, my favorite cliche from The Flash is uh, someone gets their feelings hurt and walks out of the room, and then one character says, I'll go talk to him. Yeah. And they go talk to him in the next scene. Yeah. Every, it happens yeah. like, at least once every episode. That and uh, Cisco making the perfect tech to solve a problem in, like, a day. Yeah. yeah. That also happens. Yes. <laughs> so it's just interesting that the Arrowverse is just as, as strong as it was. Grant yeah. Gustin to uh, take I, over the role. I was just, <laughs> I was just about to say, like, would that be like a, a hail mary from uh, Warner Brothers DC here to just be like, we'll deep fake or whatever, um, him yeah. to be just, just Sonic over. Him. Yeah, just <laughs> Sonic him. Sonic him over. <laughs> uh, that's the best they could do i don't know how it would look i don't know i don't I just... think they want to f- throw more money into that like that well speaking of throwing money, well they're throwing that's what we're getting into right now 
uh, let's talk about that. Uh, Batgirl has been shelved. Uh, we were just going to mention that together. Um, yeah. Nine about was it ninety million dollars they spent on that one? Yep. Uh, they decided to shelve that. Um, Completely. Thus, it's not even going to go to like HBO Max or anything like that. Yeah, and they just not, finished filming like a couple months X-Men ago. X-Men or uh, whatever. What's that called? New Mutants? This is yeah. not even a New Mutant situation. This is just no. like, nope, you're just getting burned I, to the ground. I honestly don't know what is happening. I, I don't think DC knows what's happening. I don't think Warner Brothers knows what's happening. Let me start. Sorry, let me phrase that. Like, uh, that's that's the conversation here. Is like, I mean, is this like part of like, all right, we have a plan. This movie does not fit in this plan. And maybe it's a sign of them actually having a plan. Where it's oh, like, let's, fuck, we're just going to shed all just, the crap, get rid of what we don't need, and we're going to start fresh just, with Black Adam. Before you before you say start fresh, let me just coincide this news with the fact that it was reported last week that Ben Affleck will be making an appearance in Aquaman 2 as as, as Batman. So so Not that Batman. statement, yeah, so that statement doesn't make sense. Like, it just doesn't compute. What the fuck well, is going wasn't on? Wasn't Jim Gordon's, um, the... Um, the same in guy Justice who, League. Yeah. 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 He was. What's his he name? was in there. Yeah, he was in Batgirl. Uh yeah. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson guy. I don't even I forget his name. The but, um, the, was it? State Farm guy. Isn't he not yeah. State Farm? Uh, what was he? Yeah, I forget one of the insurance Simmons. commercials. Simmons. Yes, yeah, Simmons. I don't remember his J. K. Simmons. J. K. Simmons. JK. I almost called him JJ. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, yeah. no, his name is not actually JJ. No. Yeah, so um, I just yeah. Well, here, uh, part of this is, uh, is it was always odd to sort of have a Batgirl without, like, a Batman established. Like, which Batman are you going off of? Although, they uh, apparently, yeah, that, they was, had Keaton, yeah. that was supposed to be Keaton. So, yeah. I don't... But was it just his? So, I don't know. Batman is obviously in flux again. You might have, you might have Affleck as the tie-in Batman, and you might have... Um, Pattinson as a standalone Batman. I'm not sure, uh, and I guess they aren't, aren't either. I also read, and I don't know how true this is, that the test screenings were irredeemably bad for this. Yeah. I don't know if that's real or not, but to uh, clearly the, uh, they don't have a problem with doing a standalone thing anyway, uh, and obviously that's been some of their best stuff, you know, with with the Batman and Joker. Their standalone stuff has been good, so this. Yeah doesn't need to be tied into anything maybe there was stuff that it was supposed to be and it's all messed up now i don't know yeah, yeah i don't, I don't know that makes sense too or it's I mean, it like, flashpoint should have been the point that this was all getting fixed well both. that that hasn't been canceled yet so we'll see i guess i mean that yeah, has canceled I mean, you can't move forward with ezra either it, that would no be way. poison at this point I don't know. It's already. I, I, I don't know if the plan is to lean on The Rock um, from Black Adam well, it, now. And it's just... funny because he posted on Instagram or something like that because apparently, spoiler if you care about the um, yeah, DC know, pets it. thing, <laughs> but apparently there's a Black Bolt pet dog or something at the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So Rock was uh, promoting uh, both Black that. Black Adam, not Black Bolt. But... Or, I'm sorry, Black Adam. Yeah. Sorry. Black Adam, uh, Black Adam's dog being in that, plus the Black Adam, and he started some like hashtag things like, we're you know want to promote the DC or uh, DC's uh, the Black Adam verse or something like that. And I'm just like Rock, bro. Like, sorry, I don't think the character is something to center the entire future yeah. of a fucking. <laughs> well, I know like at Comic Con, he was very excited. So like, this is a new DC, new era. We're starting with this movie. Well, oh, yeah, I'm lot. sure he's trying to sell it to the suits because everybody else. Who do they got? Who do they got? Jason Momoa? Like that's it. I know. I think that's so they can oh, leave, if they can like if they can kind of do this soft reboot of just replacing heroes. Um, Maybe I don't even know what, now. What, I don't know if they're replacing heroes. Do? Why would you? I don't know. If they're, I mean, but I don't know if they're replacing heroes because it sounds to me like Ben Affleck is back. Keaton is out. This is what this sounds like I mean, to the, me. The Ben Affleck appearing in Aquaman. This is an Aquaman movie. It's not sure. like we're not. This is not like Civil War Captain America deal here. No, but then they they shelved the Batman with the Keaton. So I'm just saying that is uh, uh, that they, their approach? They, they, I think also they're still going to release Flash. Like. 
That's also what this sort of points to towards me. I think that movie is coming but, out as is. I doubt it. No, Keaton is in that, and that's okay. That'll work fine if that's the case. Uh, and I do think they're going to release that as well. Yeah. Um, make uh, Ezra Miller put their uh, their money into charity they make from it, right? Does that sound fair? Nobody even knows where Ezra is, so you know. No. Yeah. What? what? He's been. Uh, they've been on the run for like weeks. Nobody yeah, so, has seen them. That's what I'm saying. Just put their money into charity that they would make from them. They've already been paid for it. What is it? <laughs> no, that's true. I mean, I, there's got to be royalties. No residuals. Something. There's got to be some sort of residuals, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But I, I, we'll see how this unfolds. I don't know. Obviously, this movie could have been really bad, and, and that's and they made the right decision here. Um, girl now. Are we back huh? on Batgirl? Are we yeah, back on Batgirl? Back, we're ending on Batgirl. Um, and so are they. I can, I can end on Scoob because they canceled Scoob as well, which was the sequel to the Scooby Doo movie that came out, the animated thing. But mm-hmm. that's minor. So back to Batgirl. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see where they go with this. I don't think it's a loss for any of us. I don't. No, uh, too I, bad for but... the actress. Sound like she was very excited because a big break here. But I mean, if you're in a DC movie right now, it doesn't look good for you. <laughs> No. no, no, and you know, I and, was, you know, I was thinking, especially after Thor. Now, uh, they've gotten two former Batman to be villains in the uh, MCU, so I think they should just Mon try to get Affleck, uh, Affleck. Helmer, you know, and Affleck just have them do villains, and then Robert Pattinson yeah. in a couple feet, a couple years, mm-hmm. just have him come over. I'd love to see Affleck as uh, a villain. What kind of duo villain could they do in Marvel? Let's get Cavill and Affleck as oh. a villain duo. Man, that's got to fit someplace. Cav- I, w- I would love to see Cavill as Sentry, actually, because I mean that's the Superman <laughs> analogy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would, yeah, that would that would be too much. <laughs> yeah. So um, I don't know. All right, that's I think it for the news. Yeah, we're gonna wrap up this episode, mm-hmm. folks. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, next week we'll have. Hey, we get more from this. We'll see. Like I said, a lot of comic book news this week. We'll see what comes out next week. Um. Until then, we have the GameCast coming up, guys. Once again, we are on Twitch streaming every Tuesday night starting at 8 o'clock, so please join us on Twitch. Ask some questions. We'd love to, uh, you know, take some, field some questions, answer some stuff with you guys, have, you know, have some interactions with that. Uh, also, you can email us, allyoucangeek at, all at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter and write some questions. Um, and uh, we're on YouTube the following day. So we'll see you guys soon.